れでさ頭にきたからそいつのあれを蹴り上げてやったわけよあれあれって何ですかあれっていうのはうんなかったまっでその方はどうなったんですその写真誰かの落とし物みたいだねあはははは。やだこれって<笑><笑>あれ村に何か書いてあるよやかましいな何を騒いでおるのだ<笑>だって殿下この写真<笑>たかが写真ぐらいで何を。見ればわかる誰がこんなものを取ったのかと聞いておるのださあでも裏に何か書いてるみたいですよ裏私上全力ラハール殿貴殿の超恥ずかしい写真は我が手にあり返してほしくばヨーツンヘイムへ来られたし。この挑戦から逃げるようなことあらば貴殿の超恥ずかしい写真は魔界全土へとばらまかれることとなるであろう我は正々堂々たる決着を望む者なりそうそうそう何が正々堂々たる決着だ来た相手を近寄ってけどそれが悪魔ってもんでしょあそうだがいくらなんでもこの写真はないだろうで行くんですか行かないんですかまあからさまに言わなですけど行くに決まっておろう超恥ずかしい写真がばらまかれた日には姉さまの意志は地の果てまで落ちてしまうえ覚悟しておくがよい超恥ずかしい写真ごと地獄の豪華で焼き尽くしてくれるわはい。Challenge letter. So, it's printed on the back of an embarrassing photo of La Hal. It's very strong. Supreme Overlord. Lord of Terror. It's just a legend. Certainly not some kind of hidden final boss. Bonus boss. Which I'm not going to fight, by the way.、Uh, from one thing to the next, it must be Hard Prince. I think so, lend me a hand. Yeah, those high level guys don't want to help us. He's a father of two. It looks like the pictures are already out. Is going to get in it nice way. By the way, I'm going to play probably until I get to the 5 3 map. 
and then take a break to grind. You see? Waiting for us. Let's see what kind of traps I have laid. Alley damage only damages us. Ah, it's over here. What else do we have? Yes, attack modifier. Those are not really that important. This defense, what was over there? Nothing. So we need to take down this LA damage symbol. There are no dead spots, it looks like. Kind of situations, it's often a good idea to only bring the main party because I got lots of HP and ju can cut, just kill the shit out of those, out of those guys. Ah, he was already thrown. Damn it. Look, those guys have no HP at all. Maybe she, but no. Let's go like this. Die, punk! Drop dead! Oh god, they're all going for Flunne. Well, then we can kill those. this early damage symbol without much trouble. At least something. Right, there's a plus defense thingy active. And Flona got poisoned. Uh, it says I want to throw it on. It's quite tough. Mm. So we can throw it on this guy. And it's gone. Very good. Wait, thingy. Just kill these guys. Well, it's not really that much of a good idea to have my people stand right next to each other against this kind of enemies, but uh, getting annoyed. The good thing about those defensive symbols is that they are also protecting us, just not from this annoying poison. You run away. Oh, everybody get us. Nobody can hurt anything and this attacks take forever. Ah. Like I said, this, the, this single enemy is the most annoying. It's not especially strong, but just annoying. The attack takes forever, causes poison. It's an annoying area of attack. And let's see what happens when I do heavy attack. Drop dead. Here I come. Half my party is already poisoned. Don't 
don't even know if I can retreat when I'm after I have attacked, I don't think so, so we'll just go away. This as a symbol. thing is that those enemies cause mehr damage with their poison status effect and with a real attack. Mm. That's why it probably would be good to take out this symbol. You go over here and do this. Oh you're poisoned. You go over there and do this. They'll probably kill you but for the other one is here. We will send the game on fast forward in situations like this but fast forward doesn't really work when I'm recording on the side wow lots of poison can I throw him on the yeah did I destroy the minus attack one Sorry that I'm not commentating that much, but got a bit of a source route coming. And this level is a bit annoying. Yeah, Lord, give me strength. But we're reducing the enemy numbers slowly but surely. Everybody we kill. The turn takes a bit longer, uh, a bit shorter. And of course our group levels up. Oh, he died of poison. So, mega 
kill. Die! Yeah! Drop dead! Ha! Ha! Here I come! And you can use a square healer. You can go destroy the thingy. Which will probably take a while. Probably not even worth it, selling this guy. Nah, this will take forever. Maybe the guys will try to attack him and can, we can throw it at them. And of course as long as this guy is there, uh, our main group has a bit more leeway. Pepper of annoyance. And even more poison. Let's bring out some extra people. Why not? And get some experience. Oh, secondary group. Ah, my scout is reasonably high level already. Didn't even notice. Probably have absolutely no range on your heal. Yeah. Enemy, no. Punk. Yeah. Let's move this way. was embarrassing. Yeah, destroy this thing. This one. And then cheese it. So, this party here. Can try to kill them. Let's go like this. 
Not really impressive. Ah, that was nice. 20 damage. He has 16 left. And we have nothing more to dispatch. So, main group. As you can clearly see, some of the levels are very, very annoying. Time that I get the better heal spells. But yeah, uh, absolutely the worst time in the game for grinding. I will show you why later. Or rather, I will show you at the end of this video. Sometimes I think they're just acting to annoy me. Running away from my heavies and. a special attack when I see it uh, from height. Lowest attack in the game. Oh, my mage. Ah, died in, of poison in the last round. Maybe I can give you a level. Like so. Yes. Nice. At least something and some items. And let's leave.
Oh, a rare item. Rarity is uh, it's a bit complicated. Basically, it increases the max level to which we can level this item up. Of course, there's not really that much use in uh, leveling up a healing potion. So, yeah. What are those new items we got? Hmm. Wait a second. We got a uh, wrong button, as usual. Singy, from Sex Singy. Uh, this thing should go here. And here we have Koshimoto, Pixi, Nether. Thing is better. Oh, quite a lot better even. It's worse. Yeah, there are small difference in items, or rather, in two copies of the same item. Not really that much, but a bit. Safe and go to the next level. Level. What will happen here? Don't really remember those. Oh, those guys, those are more annoying too. Don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to Lahal's stat has decreased. So usually Lahal is still your strongest guy. So we have here some enemies. Level 15 ninja. Level 15 scouts, which can be quite annoying. I should throw either Lahal or Edna over there. And this is closed in or no? Can meet up there again. Another good plan is to walk over here and just kill those guys. Because and stay a bit out of range of those other guys. Ah, just was an optical illusion. I could get a uh, double attack in. Ah, so he was tough enough. So I'll finish him. Ooh, tough. 
<laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Why not? What's your range? Oh, nice. You are now level 8. Does this give you brave heart? No, and it's at level 12 or whatever. I forgot. It's at some level. And it's very useful. But now our group is locked in, I just noticed. So you guys need to concentrate fire here. Well, you can help too. If he survives. Here I come. He did. Lots of leveling from a mage. How unusual. This guy is level 12, seriously? Maybe I should use him, at least for a bit. Does he have. Ah, this is an area attack. But maybe I should have given him some items. <laughs> Not that it really matters. So let's bring up Flon. Some healing done. Get ready! And see what our enemy does. Oh, that's ninja. Could get annoying. So, plan is. Let me take care of him. This guy using his area attack right here. Okay, let's start with this. Let's see how he does. Oh, that was nice. Attacking several enemies in one turn using uh, a long combo doesn't bring that much bonuses. Uh, it brings a bit bonuses uh, after the level is finished, bonus money and items, but it's not really worth troubling ourselves for. Eh, no. Do we have? Oh, Scott. Let's take care of this guy. Get ready! Oh, nice. That's the annoying thing about ninjas. They have a very high dodge skill. So everything you cast at them has a high chance of missing. Instead of armor like other classes. Which also counts for healing spells. Probably won't uh, think about this when you hire a ninja, but then suddenly you end a very can end up in a very strange situation. Where your ninja dodges all your healing spells. And kills your mages. No, here's your special again. Ninja dodges again. Move out of the way. Should have an okay hit stat. Edna has a very bad hit stat, so she probably can't even hurt him. This area. You have a very high hit stack. Perfect enemy of. Eh, natural enemy of ninjas is a scout, because a scout has a very high hit stack. So he basically can't miss. 
guys are flunnickets. <laughs> Yo. Flunn is awesome, this match. You hop in and try to leech off Edna. Don't we have two healers? So, let's see what those commanders over there do. Nothing. Interesting. You can heal him. Also heal him. And you guys can move over here. And this is here. So, there's my thief. Thieves can throw very far. Uh, maybe not him. Next turn. Guns don't have area attacks, at least not until very high levels, so no problem with forming a noob box here. here I go. Oh, here they come. Wow. Okay, this, those guys are quite tough. It looks like. This is a case for Pretty Devil Edna. Kill them. And you can throw him, probably. And we go like this. Die, die, drop dead. Oh, he has a counter. Why does he have a counter? Oh, not true counter is... Eh? This confuses me. Oh, he's asleep. How smart of me. Some weapons have natural status effects, and other weapons have some specialists with status effects, but I never really got into using them. So I'm always positively surprised if something like this happens. Oh, cutscene. Is Lahal alright? I didn't even notice that he was weaker. He is a bit overpowered compared to the basically every other class in the game, except possibly some of the bonus characters. photo back Ooh, some secret confusing master plan is going on Star Orb, nice. Uh, you get this, of course. Well, it's one's one. A priest. Mm. Nah. There's a Star Mage. Here. Yeah. Psycho Orb. 
And refill our mana. Of course, mana is refilling mana is what gives us points to buying a psych new psych up. So now we are at level 53, which is somewhat famous as the first real one of the most useful grinding maps in the game. But I think there's a cutscene first. By the way, two monsters in this game were made by a different artist than all the other monsters together. Can you guess which ones? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
and high movement. Probably the only monster class I usually use. And invincibility on the whole map. Now, how are we going to kill those guys or girls? As you can see here, is another color. So we could, for example, throw this thing here and remove the invincibility and have a nice normal battle. Another possibility is that we can throw monster into our panel, which means that we conquer it and then it belongs to us. But there's one more thing to do. And that is, I will let you see, that is to take those guys, those are enemies, throw them into the square and then kill them. Because when they are standing there, we are invincible and they are not, which means we can pack them to death with our healers. Lots of XP. For maximum XP. So, now I will play this map. Uh, let's play it a bit faster. Uh, I will show you throwing first. Uh, who do I want? Throwing is a bit annoying at times, which is why I'm trying to bring my mages here out. Uh, let's end this turn and see. Those hop around. Hit attack. A bit long. Energy drain. Ding. Normal attack. As you can see, no damage. For nothing. Mm. Move. Uh, we will try to conquer this Necometa. Nekomata. I strong her in here. Boom. Then we have a fight in there. And now we have captured her. Uh, and she killed Lahal, okay. Nice. <laughs> Good job, girl. Uh, so they can cause a lot of damage as you can see. I lost Lahal. Oh, here is no invincibility. Not that it really matters. So now we just move this party here. It's a bit weak to defeat those guys in a fair fight, so we are going to uh, put them on the one panel that is not invincible and then slowly kill them. Or maybe kill them a bit faster. Depends. I might uh, speed up some of those, but probably, probably will be too lazy to edit. Here they come. Guys, I especially want to level up, of course, my, my healers and to a lesser extent my mages. And this guy. Annoying. And look how fast our people can move. It's just a bit of
think none of our mages would even survive one of those attacks. Rapid kick, yes, for attack one. One other thing you can do is to throw two enemies inside of. Uh, I already showed this is even, I think. I might even have to do this here to get those over there. Well, you can practice it will give you some level. Oh, you finally learned magic boost, nice. Not as useful as Braveheart, but also not bad. Only lasts for a few turns, it's a bit complicated how it works. Basically, it increases your magic boost to a certain maximum. I think when you have casted it four or five times, it's at the max and then slowly decays. The boost decays. Oh, you are still here. So, uh, out of the way. And move on. Basically, throwing is involved in every single exploit in this game. And monsters can throw. One more reason not to use them. First victim. You can help out. Can scroll over there. Can you scroll over there? Well, I want all my guys over there. Oh, you're a bit stuck, no? Oh, fucking this row. All the way. Here. Then move our group around her. Then we will kill her. Well, not using healing, but using attacks. This might take a while. not really useful to use uh, special attacks in this situation because special attacks don't cause alley attacks 
And I want to use those LA attacks to level up my healers. And uh, my healer. My single healer. If I hadn't accidentally killed the harlot, it would go a bit faster. <laughs> and once I have Braveheart, it will again go a bit faster. This sucker bus has its annoying train attack. I almost forgot about this. Which will also make it take a bit longer. is that combos uh, lower enemy defense and give us those nice bonuses next Fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. So I'll level fourteen, I think. Yeah. So, uh, and she's all the way over there. Do we have some more to? Yeah. You lure her. Yeah. Somewhere useful. Part with many people, but. What are you? Uh, you can in fact go here. I think there's a button to move this uh, display which was in the way, but. I don't really care. Or rather, I'm too lazy to find out. Hmm, maybe he will die in a useful way. Matter doesn't have uh, a way of annoying me with her. Uh, regeneration, so I can just attack her with my mage, which gives me the advantage that the mage will always, uh, the healer will always be part in the final attack. So basically once I have won this and the video is over, I will use this map to grind up uh, every one in my fighter and brawler group to level 10 which gives me the bonus classes then I will hire some guys there, level those up and also level my mages and healers up to until they get uh, some more useful spells.
Nein, nein, diese Mages und some experience too. This is uh, probably the best map to get some level practically zero characters to the level of the rest of your party by using this combo attacks and the invincibility at least until very late in the game we are, we are talking about levels of several hundred then we need to use riskier methods but until then this level is good the next soften her up a bit and again an attack really nice that's the kind of attack you need to finish her. Ah, not. That it works, that will, but at least something. In fact, you, sh you should switch places with Edna. And it might have been a better idea. No. That was fine. I still have my fire match standing there stupidly. Well, she needs to... In fact, she needs to do nothing. I already have a star match while I'm leveling up this. Uh, because one of them is pupil of somebody and let me check you belong to Edna you belong to Lahal I think you belong to probably Flonne yeah so yeah I need to level those up to learn Braveheart okay this was the plan In fact, I should end this turn on because there's not much use in it. Stupid. Oops, this was stupid. So, try again. This might take a while. So you need to get level up. Eventually, you can help cart those skills over. And this Prini eh, can just stand there. I already have attacked. like so and one more attack now we get the triple attack in the even level.
attack is very annoying in this situation, as you can see. Like I said, we can combine those girls, but then they will take forever to kill. So I'm not going to do this for this run. Thingy. Could use this too. In fact, yeah, no. Let's just go like that. Everybody needs experience in this group, uh, except the spear girl, maybe. Ooh. Nice. And level seven. Not that much, but at least something. is slightly useful to attack like my ally like this uh, because it gives me it gives her some experience using her stuff it not some experience using her axe at least I think so I don't think I've shown even shown this ability before nice 6 points of XP to the next level. dead. Lots of bonuses due to the long combos. Let's leave this. Spend a shitload of money to revive all those dead guys. 6000, ah, that's okay. But now I have here in my team a level 40 Nekomata. Downside is she has no mentor, but I never really used those stuff in any case. She can get his equipment, because I don't like him. And once she is level, I think, 30-ish. She, she, oh, a dimension cable. She will get, she will have some very useful abilities. Oh, Dimension Cave is very good, in fact. Do you want this one of you? No, it's not that good. Uh -uh. This thing is very bad, <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, it's a very low level item now that I look at it. I want it. Well, once I've hired somebody new, she, he or she can have it. 
in his. Eh, uh, yeah. What I'm doing. What am I doing here? Saying goodbye. Because that's it for this episode. I will spend some time grinding. Probably won't be recording because I want to let the emulator run without frame limiter for grinding and this is not useful for recording and besides I want to watch let's play in the background or TV at least while I'm grinding it gets a bit boring so goodbye see you sometime maybe even tomorrow goodbye